Hey, William from Van Space here. I'm just going to make a quick video showing you how to make a custom van if you haven't found your van in one of the presets we have already made. So, the first thing you're going to want to do if you can't find your van is to go to the custom vehicle option in the top right hand corner. All right, so once you're in here, I'm just going to put my camera into orbit mode and then start putting in the dimensions. So the step one, I'm going to select a cab that looks similar to my, my uh, cab in real life. Okay, so this one will do. All right, so now that the cab is in, the next step is to line up the cargo space with the floor of the van. So what we're gonna do is use the camera pad on the right-hand side. So if you click left, top, right, or rear, it'll take you to those angles, and then you can use those angles to line up the cargo space. So we're gonna start off in the rear and line up the floor. You can use the cab position and cab height sliders on the bottom right to line it up. All right, so now that the floor is lined up, we can connect the cargo space to the cab. So we're gonna use the cab position slider to do that. You can jump around between top view or side view or whatever you want so you can get a better angle. All right, so once you're happy with it, now we can start uh, changing the dimensions of the cube in order to make our own cargo space. If you're building your van from real life, then you should already know your internal dimensions. So you can use these input boxes to just type in the dimensions that, of the uh, cargo space of your van in real life. Uh, before you get started, you're going to want to change the units, whether you're working in inches or centimeters. And after that, you can just set your cargo width, which I know my van in real life is 160 centimeters wide. Uh, the length is 2 meters, and then I know that the height is 125 centimeters. Okay, so right now that's just a cube. Uh, if you have a box fan, you can stop there. But since most fans are curved, then you have to set the curve of the roof. All right, so first you're going to set how far down the wall the curve is going to begin. And then you're going to set how far into the roof the curve ends. And you can use the rear angle of the van to be able to see exactly where it's going. And once you're happy with it, you can just set your smoothness up. And now the final thing to do is to set your wheelbase. So I know my wheelbase is 275 centimeters on my van so I'm going to put that in and that will update <clears throat> and that will update where the wheel well and the wheel are located all right so after that you can just load it in and it's the same as any other van now your van works just like any other preset 